Right up here is a footbridge. What is up, ladies and gentle pigs? We are out here in the Roaring Creek Forest, just hiking along on the first backcountry trail. It's about a mile in, and then you see a sign that says footbridge, and then you go out in the woods, really. Get off the uh, bike trail. So, we're just hiking along. We're gonna talk about um, our clothing that we used for the end of the Sipsy Wilderness ultralight backpacking hiking adventure. Sound like a good plan? Oh yeah, you know it does. We're gonna shut down this little bridge and we're gonna talk about how it sounds like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our Let's go ahead and get our sleeping clothes out of the way. So we had this Under Armour polyester blend. Um, heat gear shirt, an extra large. I got it in loose fit. Very comfortable, really enjoyed it. And then I got these heat gear um, workout shorts. Now these heat gear workout shorts, I really like them. They're in medium. Um, these things were awesome. They were really comfortable, really soft, kept me cool in the sipsy. Now, those two are my favorite uh, sleeping outfits that I've that I figured out how to wear in camp. They're real airy, real, real good at moisture wicking, so I dried out really well in the tent. And I normally I'd hop in the tent after we set it up, throw that on, grab all my other gear, hang it up on, um, on the zingit line, and I let it dry overnight. Um, if it was raining, uh, which it wasn't on this trip, but if it is raining, then I normally take my my stinky hiking gear and I'll slide it between uh, the walls of our tent, between the bug netting and the uh, rain fly. Okay, now let's go over my worn clothing. Now, I only took one set. I thought about taking two sets and I just, I, I changed my mind. I went back and forth and I finally settled on a single set. Now start with my base layer okay we had these man they're bright aren't they this is the under armor eight inch heat gear boxers um these ride up a bit i'm probably going to get the uh, no ride up 12 inches but um but they did their job and what was amazing is after you know wearing them for two or three days they didn't really have much of a smell it was just a little bit of you know swampiness but not too bad Next, uh, as far as base layers go, where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right, I consider this part of my base layer. Um, and some people may not agree, but these are Dirty Girl Gators. And uh, they just slip over your leg, hook, hooks on your shoestrings, and Velcro, Velcros to your shoe worked awesomely i absolutely loved them i'm wearing a pair now i got these obviously american flag design um in the last part of our base layer um for summer or oh, for alabama it'd be a pretty much three season um these socks now these are these are insanely thin socks in it and they're darn tough but see you can you can see through them and they are they are actual darn tough socks um and uh, bought these because they got some great reviews being worn with trail runners for running um i like the design the design's awesome but they're pretty much the thickness of dress socks and um Problem, problem with that is I need a lot of padding to pad out my shoe because my feet are really slender and these ended up causing my foot to move around and I ended up with hot spots on the balls of my feet and uh, so these these socks um, would probably be awesome for people with thicker feet that fill out their shoe better and I'm wearing very thin shoes I'm wearing the Brooks Cascadia 12s and they're designed to really hug your foot um, these I'll probably wear around town, um, and I, you know, I may even wear them for, you know, like uh, in camp, 
but I, I doubt it. I doubt I'll be taking these out in the woods again. I still like them. They're still comfortable socks. Uh, currently today, I'm wearing darn tough uh, mid-weight merino wool hiking socks, and they they're they're feeling great. Um, they're they're as heavy as one or two pair of these, but it is what it is. Um, then I wore this buff. This is another buff, but I wore this American flag buff, and um, loved it. It was absolutely awesome, just like all buffs are. Uh, here was my shirt. This shirt was absolutely amazing. Okay. Now this shirt also has an American flag there. This shirt um, was part of the uh, uh, Under Armour uh, Support the Troops line and, um, and the American Freedom line. And uh, a lot of it's worn by our active duty and retired military. And um, that's what drew me to this shirt. I'm wearing Support the Troops now, part of the same line, different material. Um, this is a softer brushed uh, polyester blend while this is a like a, a shiny very um, insanely quick drying very thin shirt um, it's not the warmest shirt it wouldn't be my go-to layer for hiking because it doesn't really have any warmth but this shirt was amazing um, I wore it for four days straight only dipped it in water once to get the get the sweat stains off so I didn't get itchy on my chest and we went to town with this thing on, and uh, I went to town, and they could not smell me. Like I was like, I, I kept apologizing for the smell, and they they were like, "What smell? I don't I don't smell you." We went to get beer, we went to get you know just different things. We went into a nice hotel, and nobody could smell us. And it was pretty amazing. So, Under Armour heat gear, ah, oh, this stuff is awesome. Now the last piece, and these things they're the only. Um, non, I would say non-standard hiking clothes that I own, that I hike in routinely, and these are the Columbia PFG Performance Fishing Gears shorts. They're the Omni Shade, which means they have sun protection. They're real short on me, you know, they don't, they're real short, but they're perfect for hiking. Um, I'm wearing a pair of them now, I'm wearing the gray pair, and which is, you know, they just, they fit awesome, boxers, you know, and down. And uh, I just love them. Um, I will say that they're not real warm shorts, but they, they, they do kind of absorb the sunlight. And uh, so the shorts kind of stay warm when you're sitting in the sun. And uh, they dry like insanely quick. I went swimming in them and probably within two hours my shorts was dry. So I was, I was insanely, insanely happy with it look at this i'm sitting here this whole time on this wet stump no z seat okay so that is my clothing lineup <coughs> get out of the way clothing and uh, i was i was very very happy with it um the socks will be being changed to darn tough midweight merino wool socks those are those are my go-to socks i wear those daily and uh, they're tough because they're darn tough. They're made in Vermont, so they're made in the USA. It just fits in with my lineup, and um, and because of my slender feet, I need thicker socks. So, at one point during the trip, I was wearing. I had two pairs of these, and uh, I'd take one pair off when we stopped for lunch, and put the other pair on and cycle it. You know, to keep my feet dry. And at one point, I was wearing both pair plus uh, moleskin and I was still getting some hot spots. So, um, forewarned, test out your socks before you hike, okay? Um, I was lucky enough to be able to nurse it the whole way without getting a blister. Now, if you have any questions about any of the gear you have seen in this video, or any of my other videos, please comment down below and I will make sure to get back to you and answer all your questions okie dokie yes nope maybe yeah I'll answer your questions I do not mind so we are headed back to the car 
Had a nice day out. Walked a bit, nommed a bit, filtered some water. And overall, just it was awesome. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, stay safe, stay warm, stay swampy, my friend.